Okay, so this little guy ingested a coin and it's stuck in his esophagus. You can tell it's in the esophagus because it's transverse on the PA view and on the lateral you see it on edge view. Now, to get the coin out, what we're going to do is pass a Foley catheter beyond the coin, blow the catheter up, and then pull back and that will dislodge the coin up into the posterior pharynx. Now, when you're getting set to do this, one of the things you can do is fill the catheter with some barium and then pull it back out. And this will leave a thin stream in there so that if there's any question of where the catheter is, you can take a quick x-ray and the Foley catheter will show up because of the lining of the barium that's in it. Now, the goal is to pass the tube through the mouth into the esophagus beyond the coin. And then once it's beyond the coin, you can estimate this by just holding it up to the, the patient. Roll the patient on their side or at least get their head rotated to the side blow the catheter up and generally in the range of three to five cc's is enough for a small child to get it out. A larger child you may need a little bit more. Just pull it, you'll feel a little tug and the coin will come out. Okay, so in this child, the child's been sedated lightly with propofol. Uh, you'll see him struggling a little bit, but that's because we're manipulating him. But if you leave him alone, he will fall asleep. You want him lightly sedated so they don't aspirate the coin when you remove it. Catheter is being passed through the mouth in the esophagus and we estimated about how far it needs to go down. Once we believe we're past that point, we're going to inflate the balloon and then we'll pull back. You'll notice that the child's rotated to the side and the head's rolled to the side. Now what we didn't do was sweep the mouth after we pulled back on the balloon, which you always need to do because sometimes the coin comes out without much resistance. And here's surprise, we noticed that we did get the coin out. It's a pretty simple technique and it works very well.